coming to a school near you. Autism doesn't make life hard. What makes things hard is that neurotypical kids and adults think we should be like them. Well, we are not, and we never can be. That's as silly as expecting a tiger to act like a house cat. A Day in Brim by Students with Autism This is our opportunity to show you what it's like being in a school with non-autistic rules. It's good, yes it's very good, to be autistic inside HQ. It is much harder in the non-autistic parts of the school. But we try hard at HQ to learn how to be just like you. I don't really understand why. I am happy who I am, and sometimes you are just too weird. Like, for example, why do teachers always say, look at me when I'm talking to you? Autistic children listen with their ears and not with their eyes. Sometimes I get confused and need to escape. When we show our escape cards, you need to let us go. Kids from HQ come by taxi. We get up very early to be on time. The HQ students are very lonely because we don't live near here and we have no friends. Plus, it doesn't exactly help when you call us names either. These are three autistic students who are going to lesson room PE dodgeball. Um, dodgeball is not an autistic friendly sport because all the balls come in all sorts of ways you don't know imagine. And I, and dodgeball is pointless. Dodgeball. How am I supposed to know which way the balls are gonna come? Go, 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 damn it, go! Dodgeball is not autism friendly. Empty classrooms are the best. I learn when it's quiet. School isn't a problem. It's the people who are in it and it's the noise. We autistic can hardly concentrate with all the noise that's going on around us. Why is the bell so loud? Is it because neurotypical students have trouble with their hearing? Sometimes I get distracted in lessons because there are too many voices. I'm so stressed, which one is the teacher's? Words cause us problems. It would help us if you give us time to work out what you mean. Would you give me a hand, please? I think he means he needs some help, but I'm not sure. I'll help him anyway. Copy the table, please. I just don't get it. Why would you need to draw tables all the time? That's art. You're not out of the woods yet. I'm not really sure what he means. I think he means we're not ready yet. I think he means he's lost in the woods. I'm bending over backwards to help you. I know this one. He's in PE. Shape up or ship out? I think she's making a ship out of a shape. I think it means change or leave. I think I know what this one means. Is it like that scene from Grease Lightning when she says shape but because she wants to have a better class than she has now. This is where I draw the line. Draw the line? What does that mean? She could draw a picture of a line? I, I think int she means if you get any worse then that's crossing the line. Now you're in hot water. Is he in the bath? Or is he in water? Or is he feeling hot? I do not know. But I do wish people could say what they mean sometimes because it's puzzling. Doors are a problem. All these people squeezing through. 
just like rush hour, too many people in one door. It's scary. Autism comes in all shapes and sizes. Um, some of us are dull and some of us are clever. A lot of famous people are autistic, like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Albert Einstein, and Steven Spielberg. In fact, to be a good scientist or artist, you need a little dash of autism. Yes, indeed. Now, remember, be careful what you call us. Some of us are dull, and some of us are clever. So call us clever and smart. But never stupid. Thank you for watching Garfield. We hope you go on to support many autistic people in the world. That's all, folks.